He had it coming, he had it coming. He only had himself to blame. Did you know that you can improve your English skills while enjoying a Broadway musical? In today's video, we're going to use the popular song Cell Block Tango from the hit musical Chicago to learn some useful English words and expressions. This musical was made into a movie featuring great Hollywood stars like Catherine Zeta-Jones, Renee Zellweger, Richard Gere and Queen Latifah. Hello, I am Miss Carolina and you are watching IWA. With the song Cell Block Tango, you will learn different words, verbs and expressions. Let's begin. Cell Block Tango is a catchy and dramatic song. Pop, six, squish, uh-uh, Cicero, lip shit. It tells the story of female inmates in a Chicago jail. An inmate is a person in jail. These inmates recount the events that led them to murder their significant others. That is boyfriends, husbands, lovers. When I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they were dead. And they do not regret it. They are not sorry for it. To regret means to feel sorry for or feel remorse about something. They had it coming! They had it coming. 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 We know this because of the phrase, I betcha you would have done the same. Betcha meaning bet you. I bet you. I guarantee that if you were in my shoes, if you were in my position, you would have killed them too. But how about the most repeated expression in the song? He had it coming. He had it coming. He had it coming. It means that someone deserved the negative consequences or punishment they received. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. So these women obviously do not regret their actions. Lipschitz is just the name of the last inmate's husband. He was an artist, like herself, who cheated on her with many men and women. They had artistic differences. He saw himself as alive, and she saw him dead. I loved our Lipschitz more than I could possibly say. He saw himself as alive, and I saw him dead. Cicero. This word tells the story of our antagonist, Vilma played by Catherine Zeta-Jones, betrayed by her sister with her husband at Hotel Cicero. So this one night before the show, we're down at the Hotel Cicero. I come back, open the door, and there's Veronica and Charlie. Vilma decided to... Wait, she can't remember a thing. She completely blacked out. Well, I was in such a state of shock. I completely blacked out, I can't remember a thing. To black out is a phrasal verb that means to lose consciousness or memory temporarily. Well, I was in such a state of shock. I completely blacked out, I can't remember a thing. How convenient. It wasn't until later, when I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they were dead. A Russian inmate who nobody understands is the only innocent woman in jail in the story. Uh, uh not guilty. And all she knows to say in English is, uh-uh, not guilty. Uh-uh, meaning no. Uh-huh, would be yes. Squish. Uh -uh. Squish is another onomatopoeic sound or sensation for when you stick a knife through some soft material. Squish. Not that I have ever done that. And then he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times. Well, her abusive husband accused her of cheating on him. That is, having an affair with another person. So, as she says, he ran into her knife ten times. 
To run into something means to encounter or come across it unexpectedly. And then he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times. Six refers to a woman who was dating a man who said he was single, but the truth is that he had six wives. Not only was he married, oh no, he had six wives. So she poisoned him and said, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. You know, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. This comes from the expression, you can't hold your liquor, meaning alcohol really affects you badly. Poison is not something too many people can hold, I bet. Pop. Pop is an onomatopoeic sound for when you blow a bubble with chewing gum and it pops. This habit was really annoying for our first inmate who used a gun to kill her husband. I took the shotgun off the wall and fired three warning shots into his head. So I took the shotgun off the wall and I fired two warning shots into his head. Well, these women are angry and this song shows us the reasons. The song introduces them as the six Mary murderesses. Mary is another word for the adjective happy, often used when we wish someone a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Murderess is the feminine form of the noun murderer, a person who commits murder or kills someone. Like waiter, waitress, host, hostess, actor, actress. In the case of murderess, the word murderesses would be the plural form referring to women who kill. The dirty bum, bum. Each inmate's criminal act, that is, each murder, is represented in the song by one word. Pop, six, squish, uh-uh, cicero, lip shit. It's a fun way to remember a list, don't you think? Pop, six, squish, uh-uh, cicero, lip shit. Isn't it amazing all of the English we can learn with just one song? In this case, we have learned five words. Inmate, murderesses, marry, pop, squish. Two verbs, to regret and to black out, and five expressions. I betcha, to cheat on someone, to run into something, to hold your liquor, and he had it coming. I hope you enjoyed the song and the video. I'm Miss Carolina from the English with Us channel. You can check my other videos with Iwa and also my YouTube shorts and reels on Instagram and TikTok. Cheers.